Veritasium. He made this video clickbait is unre unreasonably effective. And he has a bit older video of, about a year ago um, about viral videos, how to go viral. Both videos excellent. Watch this one, watch the older one first and then the new one. Excellent videos if you are interested in the YouTube game. He explains how important the thumbnails and the titles are and how YouTubers can test which titles and thumbnails perform better. And he is also talking about uh, that you can go take old videos and update their thumbnails and see if it changes anything and if something happens to them. So I thought uh, we could all do an experiment together. We could select a bit older video of mine and we design a new thumbnail and we come up with a new title and then I'm going to run an experiment over the next week or so. And in, in the next stream or maybe the stream afterwards, so in, in one or two weeks or so, we look at the experiment results and see if our updated thumbnails uh, have done better or worse than the existing thumbnails. So I think good candidates are student finds hidden device in the college dorm. That's a good one because that's, a sh I think, a shitty thumbnail, though that video, as you can see, performed incredibly well. Um, then the secret guy step to guide to learn hacking is pretty shitty thumbnail as well, but performed also very well. So I think these are good candidates because I think the thumbnails are kind of bad, but somehow good because they performed really well. So I think these are interesting candidates to see if a new thumbnail will perform less good. I think these thumbnails are generally pretty okay. Uh, stop wasting your time. That could be a more generic... I don't know, a bit better thumbnail, maybe with a nice posing from me instead of this draw, drawing person here. Let's take out the secret step-by-step -step guide to learn hacking. That's such an old school shitty thumbnail from me. Let's make a new one and then I will run an experiment. Does anybody have an idea what could be the thumbnail for that? And title. Maybe you have an idea to change the title as well. So what could we do with the secret step-by-step -step guide? Mm, maybe I think the title probably has to stay. So maybe be because it is, it is, you know, I, I I'm talking about that the title is clickbait. So in in the video, right when it starts, I mean the video is very white and black, so the thumbnail kind of matches it anyway. Anyway, it's just uh, we are just experimenting, right? So what could we learn how to? Ha oh wait, yeah, right. We could hacking. We could we could get some inspiration from other hacking tutorials. Oh, wait, get into hacking. Become a hacker right now. These thumbnails are all pretty shit, to be honest. This looks almost like I have written it. I mean, it's it's a font, but this I thought for a moment, wait, that I is that a thumbnail from me? Maybe you should also be, clickbait the, 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 the year and then always update it. Always the current year, because obviously it still applies what I say in this video every year. Should I post with my laptop or something? Okay, the title is the secret step-by-step -step guide. So maybe we want something on the screen, but it's blurred out. It's blurry. So it could either be maybe a laptop that is blurred out or the screen of a laptop or maybe a book that is blurred out. Maybe I'm holding a book. How about we make a photo where I'm holding a book and the book is blurred out and it's a secret step-by-step -step guide. Okay, wait, one second. I, I'm, get, I'm get, getting something. I feel the, you know, the, the POC or GTFO Bible. So maybe, maybe, okay, I'm just practicing now. But maybe we could do like a thumbnail. Maybe I can, you know, do it like the other screenshots back there with my proper setup. But maybe I could do something like this, you know? And then, and then like blur, then this will be blurry. Like the secret step-by-step -step guide or something like this. Well, yeah, for, I could wear a hoodie. I could also wear, I could also wear my hacker robe, of course. But I'm just saying, like from the pose, like you know, thinking about the pose. Do, do you think it's good with the book? Do you think a book, like secret step by step guide, a book? Should I do something like this and then have the book blurred out? Or it doesn't even have to be blurred. I could just hold it like this. We could also just use this screen. I don't know. Do you think I could maybe, you know, if I. If I lower the light in the background a little bit. So the idea is we still maybe keep the book because it's, you know, instructions. It's, um, 
you know, a secret guide is here in this book. And I was just uh, thinking about, you know, maybe I, I was thinking about making a photo back there, you know, in the studio style, but maybe we could also just take a screenshot from like here from the stream. So what do you think? Like I was thinking, you know, something maybe like this. Oh, we could make the book glow. It could glow. I could do something like this and it would like glow. You know, another one was this one, maybe like a hoodie. Yeah, hood required. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Hey, wait, where's my hoodie? Um, oh, here. But I don't know, it doesn't look very hacky. Maybe I should use the laptop instead. It's like two handed weapons, you know, main hand and off hand. Uh, right hand, I'm hacking. And left hand, I'm using some command line tools. CD, CD, LS, LS. Yeah, I don't know, like what would be a good... Okay, so serious again, we need a thumbnail. So it's important in this one video that we want to recreate the thumbnail. Um, I'm not showing my face, it's a very old video where I haven't, um, you know, been on camera yet. So it's good or fine when I'm not showing my my camera. Maybe it would be... Oh, I'm, I'm scared to leak something if I do that, wait. Maybe it could be something like this like this, and then I, we blur this out. You know, in the thumbnail, this is blurry, and I'm doing like this, and then the title of the video is The Secret Step-by-Step -step Guide to Learn Hacking. Maybe not pointing, because, you know, pointing is for uh, uh, YouTube Zoomers, but we are legit here, so, you know, we just showed you the guide, you know? Okay, so here we, we have to find a good, a good scene. The, the problem is with a dark hood like this, it doesn't come across that this is a hood, right? And my chin looks really weird. Like, if you see this on a thumbnail, would you notice somebody is wearing a hood here? I don't know, it seems... I don't know, let's take a screenshot like this and let's just experiment with it. Or does, it, does anybody have a better preference? Here, I look pretty evil. Is that a good evil hacking view, uh, like, face? Well, I'm not trying to hide, but I try to hide the secret step-by-step -step guide to learn hacking. So, of course, I have secrets to hide. This is almost like, I don't know, like, this could be a scene out of Star Wars. Like, Arr. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's pretty good, yeah. Oh my gosh, I have so much crap laying in my room around. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe the focus should also just be on the, on the laptop like this. Change what's on the screen before blurring. You are smart. How can I fix my hair? Anybody like a Photoshop master tell me how I can Photoshop this hair stuff here? Does this heal tool work? Oh my God, the repair tool is just so magical. Damn, that starts to look immediately so much cleaner. Now, can I fix my chin? <gasps> what the fuck? It just magically removes my gin? Chin? Oh my god! Holy shit. What happens when I try to fix the... Uh, I, I don't know the English term. Holy crap. Okay, so the thing is with the video itself. Um, it's a shitty old video, right? It has... It's a lot of just white and black. So I feel like if, if I would do it colorful or dark and then you would click on it, it's just white. It would be a bit misleading and would annoy people. So maybe if we keep it white like this, it feels more like, okay, I expected that the video is white, you know, then it's not as misleading maybe. Remove my hand. Okay, let's try. Let's just see what happens. I mean, it's a bit wobbly, but it's insanely good. Look at my thumb shadow, it's crazy. 
What's my thumb shadow? Oh, you mean... Oh, yeah, that... Oh, yeah, right. Here, how the shadow... Oh, the... the yeah. Okay, I just learned how to make polls. Let's do a poll. Okay, most people, at least in the poll, voted for secret hacking guide. Any other ideas? I think I, I think this text is fine. Any other things to improve or should, should we just try this out? Okay, so here we do the example again. So let's um, imagine the thumbnail here on the page. On which video would you click? Is this really clickbaity enough? Maybe the text color has to change. Maybe it shouldn't be black text. Like this. And then, check this out. Check this out. A question mark. I can't draw question marks. Is this even how a question mark looks like? This isn't, this isn't bad, right? This is pretty good. Maybe when it's here on the left side, we don't need that crazy of a size. We can do that smaller so the hood comes out a bit more. Or should it be big? Okay, where would you click? Which one works better? One or four. Also, I just realized... Um, uh, YouTube has a red bar at the bottom when you watched your video already, so the text should move a bit up. So here's the deal. I'm using, like, I have, like, an extension for YouTube. It cost money. It, it was a dumb mistake to buy it, but I bought it now, so uh, I paid for it, so I'm gonna use it. And I will set up an experiment, an A-B test experiment with this thumbna thumbnail and the original thumbnail. And for a week or a bit more than a week or so, it will switch the thumbnails every day. Every day it will go back and forth between the thumbnails and then look at the click-through ratio if one of the thumbnails performs better. Um, and so I'm going to set that up and then in like, I, I, I stream roughly once a week, right? So next stream or the stream afterwards, depending on when we have results, we will have a look at how well or not well this thumbnail will perform compared to the original. Cool. And maybe if, if that is fun, I don't know, was this entertaining? Should we do should we do one one thumbnail every stream or so? I don't know. My typical stream is that we watch an old video of mine or a new video of mine, add like additional commentary and context and answer questions about the video. And so we have that as a format. Then we have redoing a thumbnail as a format. Does that sound good? Anyway, okay, cool. Yeah, it's pretty late. I, oh my God, it's an hour ago I said I should take the dog out soon. Or oh, maybe 40 minutes ago. Okay, I should really take the dog out and go to bed. Yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, thanks for all the help with the um, improvement of clickbaits. I'm really looking forward to the uh, to the results of the experiment. Thank you so much and uh, thanks for the gifted subs again and all the other uh, Prime subs today and talk to you um, probably next week. Okay, bye-bye.